Donald Trump is going to Flint, Michigan. What the hell is Donald Trump going to Flint, Michigan for? He hasn't really said or done thing one in order to help those people. He may have been better off going to Lansing, Michigan and talking to the governor and the state legislature about appropriating the funds necessary in order to replace those pipes like they did for Lansing, Michigan itself. The mayor of Flint doesn't even want Donald Trump there and she wasn't even notified, I believe until either yesterday or today. So this is just another photo op for Trump to claim, quote unquote, that he's reaching out to uh, the people. Yeah, right. Welcome back, everyone. Donald Trump is due to visit the city of Flint, Michigan this afternoon. Obviously, the city's been devastated by the lead in the water and the scandal that followed. Flint has been dealing with high lead levels since 2014 when the city switched its drinking source, causing the pipes to corrode and leach lead into the water. Clean water is an issue the organization Global Citizens tackles on a daily basis. And one of its goals is to get clean water for people around the globe. This year, MSNBC is once again the media partner for the annual Global Citizen Festival, which is just over a week away. NBC's Blake McCoy joins me now from Flint with how real solutions to tackle the water crisis are happening on the ground there. And Blake, we often, again, when we talk about a water crisis, we've been conditioned to believe some third world country. That is also why we saw and still see such outrage as to what happened in Flint, Michigan. Right, Tamara, and still people cannot drink the water here unless it's filtered or they're having to drink bottled water. Even still today, when Donald, uh, Trump, when Donald Trump visits here, he's going to find a city very much still in crisis. I visited a local elementary school here in Flint to see what they're dealing with and what's being done to help these people. It's the start of a new school year in Flint, Michigan, and among the new faces at each of Flint's 11 schools is not a teacher. Hi, how are you? Good, good. But rather a health navigator. Rob Lenore's job? Meet with families and be a link to health resources available in light of Flint's lead water crisis. What are their biggest concerns? Some of the biggest concerns are what is going to happen to my kid down the road. What are the effects going to be? At this school, the water is still unsafe to drink. So you have cases, pallets of water, do you have empty pallets here? But you say you're going through a thousand water bottles a day. Yeah, yes, at least a thousand a day. After lead was found to be seeping into Flint's water supply, concern quickly turned toward the children. That's because their tiny brains still developing are more susceptible to the effects of lead. Everything from learning disabilities to attention problems, even violent behavior, effects that could take years to show. Do you feel like you have enough resources to deal with what's essentially an unknown health crisis? Interesting question. If it's an unknown, we're not sure if we have enough resources. That's, but, you know, that's the challenge. And that's where these health navigators yes. being rolled out into every school yes. this year come in. Yes. Let's have the system, have the framework in place. That's key. That's something that we have control over now. I just don't want to get older. I don't. Karina Brown is in the seventh grade. She's now deaf in her left ear. Hearing loss, her mother Kathy believes, may have been sped up by the lead. That's a whole new crisis almost for Flint. What's going to happen to these kids? This actually is, to me, the bigger crisis because the lead crisis was a matter of a year, year and a half, two years. This crisis could be lifelong. And so this is a major crisis behind the small little cloud. This is the big hurricane behind the small storm. You know, it's, it's, it's really a nightmare for a parent. It's terrorizing. Rob Lenore is currently doing a health assessment of every kid at the school. So if you ever need to talk and you're going to get in a situation, where you're going to come and see? Yeah. All right. And says he'll be here for as long as it takes. Okay, you have a great day. Flint, Michigan is a resilient community, one that has really come together to tackle this problem. In fact, the mayor is in Washington, D.C. today pushing Congress uh, for more federal funding uh, to help uh, replace all the lead pipes here in this city. The woman you heard from, the mother, Kathy Brown, in that story, uh, she is still using bottled water every day to take a bath because the water with the lead in it is giving her rashes, she and her daughter. Uh, so they still have no idea when the lead pipes on their own home are going to be replaced. They have no timeline, Tamara. Incredible, Blake. Thank you so much for the reporting. Clean water across the globe is just, again, one of the goals of Global Citizen, and you can watch the Global Citizen Festival with Rihanna, Kendrick Lamar, Metallica, 
and more next Saturday. I will be hosting it along with Willie Geist, September 24th. We'll be right back. All right, so as I stated at the beginning of this video, Donald Trump would be, be, would be better served to carry his ass to Lansing, which is the capital of Michigan, to uh, speak directly to the governor and to the state legislature in order to get the money necessary in order to replace all those pipes. But of course, he's not going to do that. All he wants to do is uh, get a photo op. And the mayor of uh, the city of Flint, as well as... Uh, their uh, board uh, basically has stated that they don't need to see him there.